The storm's a brewing. I'm pissed. It's like hella close. You didn't even close it all the way. <laughs> We're off on our journey. Let's go. Kim. <laughs> Come on. I'm going. It's a trap. I'm not gonna make it. Milo, get in here. I'm not We're gonna make trouble. it. Oh. We're gonna yell at you. Damn. I wasn't gonna make it. We have a one-way ticket up this ah! mountain. Joe, are you ready? Yeah, look at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See the natures. <laughs> Hello? Do it. You eat? Yeah. Look at me and go eat. No. Yeah. Because you're going to have to put it in slow motion and put no, on this stuff. Come on. Yeet! <laughs> on an adventure into the wilderness and the mountains. It took us like four days to finally like get up to rally. <laughs> no, my head is <laughs> Jordan's throwing a weight around again. Uh, oh. Well, we have begun our journey off with a nice hill. I'm like, backpacks hurting. They're like six days ahead of us. <laughs> Whoa! Hi there, Mr. Prairie Dog. Hi. I don't know if you can see him, but there's a little prairie dog right there. They're just rolling around the meadow, having a good time. We're well on our way. Backpacks are still hurting, and we can see Mount Assiniboine way off in the distance. The Continental Divide? We're about to cross the Continental Divide. How do you feel about that? How do you not know what the Continental Divide is? Off in the mountains we go. Where we end up, nobody knows. Okay, you should know where we end up. Ah, oh, this place is so pleasant. It's a little overcast here today. Apparently there's supposed to be thunderstorms, but uh, I see none. Perfect temperature for hiking. Little prairie dogs everywhere. Soft little things that look like they're from uh, cartoon movies, and it's wonderful. Look at these alpine meadows, they're so beautiful. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Milo back there taking photos. Jordan. There are little prairie dog things everywhere. They're just popping out of holes and running across the trail and Oh man, I really want to get a video of one, but here quick. You can see some storm cells developing and heading this way, so interested to see where this goes. Bro, I got bit by a fucking horse fly. You can't tell by the way I use my walk that I'm something, something. No time to talk. <laughs> <laughs> this one's lost. <laughs> we have to we are descending into the trees. Um so apparently, like, the more noise you make, the less of a chance you'll uh, you startle a bear and have them attack you. So uh, we're going to just start singing songs and, you know, being jolly just to prevent, you know, bear attacks. So, ha, 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 staying alive, staying alive, ha, 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 staying alive. So uh, we were just informed by some fellow hikers of a fly on my camera that uh, we saw they saw a bear over the past. So yeah, we we have to be well aware of that and you know just cautious and noisy. What kind of bear did she say? Jordan. Did she say what kind of bear? Senior. Oh. Sorry. oh. <laughs> 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 Go to the park after dark. Smoke that tumbleweed. <laughs> We're getting up into the high alpine, crossing over our first little pass. There's been some signs of bear activity, scratches on trees, and we're just singing songs and going hey bear a lot. Just to, you know, warn them of our presence. Oh, it's, a, it's a stretch. A stretch for sure. 
Came from way over there. <sighs> you can see Mount Assiniboine in the distance, and it looks freaking incredible. That's where we're going. There's a little lake right down there. What do you fellas think? I'm fucking dead. Yeah? You feeling tired? Yeah. Well, for lunch, you're having a lemon poppy seed biscuits and applesauce. Um, and the wind seems to be really picking up. Um, I see some ominous looking clouds in the distance, but hopefully we can uh, make it to the next campsite before any form of precipitation begins to occur. <laughs> Joe's anxiety is through the roof because of bears. She's not very happy. And then we have uh, that beautiful thing that we're gonna adventure towards because it's adventure time! Yay! Adventures! This is how I saddle up. Just gotta lay down and just see how effective this is. Go for it. Wow, that was, oh, that actually worked very well. I'm actually rather impressed. Saddle. Off we go into the distance. Back on the road again. Woo! <laughs> it's so hot. Coming in hot. I'm looking kind of dumb with my finger and my thumb. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. The boys start coming, the girls start running. I'm coming down the trail and I can't stop running. Ah! Oh by golly, we've come across our first high alpine lake. Wow, neat. Wow, neat, neat. Woo woo. Yeah. <laughs> I did it, y'all. Well, Joe, should we go skinny dipping? Make a little mile of watch again? Yes. <laughs> Fucking flies relentless. Was that a fish? Yep. So apparently this is Howard Douglas Lake. And we're gonna try to make our way to Porcupine Creek Campground. I don't know how much further that is, but apparently it's like eight miles from the from the ski lift. Oh look how these mosquitoes. Oh my god. They went up my nose. Yep. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit, Milo says. My whole tail strip. Wow, I think we're gonna go beyond that mountain back there and don't know where our campsite's gonna be, but we're still kind of just figuring out as we go. Joe's still singing, she's she's spitting hella bars. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. What? My back, dig my pussy. What? They're talking about wanting their pussies and cracks to be licked. So, apparently we are a little more than halfway to the campsite and we have to hike over this big old spire thing and around it, I mean, before we, you know, really get close to it, but yeah, it's starting to rain off and on and so I have to throw my camera in my pack. Can't do too much filmmaking because of the rain. We just heard some crazy thunder come from up over that big old spire up there. It was like crack, 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 bang, poop, pop. Mm -hmm. Ain't that right, Joe? That's exactly what it sounded like. So uh, now we're stopping for a little snack break and enjoying the view. Joe's Hoping it doesn't pour down thunder. Feed it to him. Ew. Give it to him. No. Do Do it. It. Ew. Just drink it normal. No. I can't. Okay, it's going away then. My Feed it to him. Up. Help. Jordan. No. Wow. You just killed it. God. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's all recovering you. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan's backpack thing. We uh, we're hearing some thunder come on its way, so we had to swaddle Jordan in the tarp. And so far, it's working out pretty good. The backpack looks like it's gonna stay dry. Billy! The 
storms are brewing. <laughs> Listen to the thunder! Uh, it's getting gnarly up in this bitch. How you doing? I'm pissed. Shit's pissed. Uh, it really uh, dumped on us for a while there. Some really cold rain as we were going over the pass and it was just storming and blowing and lightning going off. I had to put my camera away because it just got way too wet. But as we dropped down on these trees, you know, the wind subsided and the rain kind of went away, but the thunder's still pretty loud. So it's pretty beautiful. Hopefully we're close to the campground by now. You can see, you see that shadow of one behind the furthest peak over there? That's a Cinnaboy. So you can barely faintly make it out. Wow, oh, yeah. that is beautiful. I'm pretty sure that's it. I think we shall now descend into this valley. Make our way to a Cinnabon. Well, would you look at this? Found signs of a bear. Yeah, fuck off. Anything about that, Mr. Milo? <laughs> what? The bear scratches on the tree. Hey, bear. Oh shit, that's sick. Yeah, hella sick. There's blue sky ahead. Oh, I'm so happy there's no more rain and wind. What are you doing? I'm just singing. Bear done plucked up this tree. Look at that. Shredded it. Oh my god. I'm gonna take a, a second. Wow. It's rather impressive. There's some sharp claws. They are built to kill everything. We made it to the, the first campground and the sun's back, so very happy about that. So we uh, threw our tent up and I set up a nice little hammock for Milo to lay in and I'm gonna start cooking us some gourmet pasta while they chillax a little bit. I really need some food. We're all very hungry. It's been a long hike. Some strangers over there that we uh, just met and ended up making us a fire and so we're gonna do that tonight what'd you put in here uh summer sausage cheese olive oil noodles. mom and daddy fed milo tastes good yeah, yeah. cool thank you you're welcome wow it started raining <laughs> Yay. We're all kind of stuck in here in this two-person tent, try to throw our backpacks under the tarps the best we could before we crawled in here, but uh, it's looking pretty wet outside. Well, this is a lot of fun. We're having a great time in Canada, backpacking around, and then we also fit Milo in here in our little two-person tent. This is a... <laughs> Milo's having so much fun, yay! Milo's having a great time, yay! <laughs> Don't worry guys, we're gonna be rewarded with the rainbows and beautiful lakes and women and it's gonna be an awesome time after this. But uh... Where did the, the women meat? come from? <laughs> for the meat, those old ladies out there. <laughs> you can have a plenty full of them. So yeah, in the meantime, we're just gonna chill in here and try to stay alive. Hopefully no bears fuck us while we're sleeping, because that would be our luck. How you doing, Joe? Okay. Milo? <laughs> Karen! <laughs> yeah, well, your intuition was great. It was, I told you! And you're like, I just don't want to work. There is so much water in here. <laughs> Somehow a fucking river got in here. Where is that coming from? See, look, it's just dripping. Oh, yeah. Okay, um. You need to get out and make sure it stays low. All right, I got this. See, look, watch. That was weight. Man, that's like hella close. 
close. <laughs>